It's clear that our security plan was not properly executed. This is unacceptable, and I take full responsibility, and I will make sure that it does not happen again. A foreign policy that at times seems to be made up as we go along. A government that claims to know little or nothing about terrorist killers and then tosses the blame to others. And a drug enforcement administration that seeks to intimidate members of Congress. You feel more than a little overwhelmed by a seemingly out of control leadership? You are not alone. A pleasure to welcome to Midpoint, representing the 7th Congressional District in Tennessee. She serves or has served on a number of influential committees, including those on health care, energy and commerce. Pleasure to welcome Marsha Blackburn to the show. Congressman, thanks so much for being here today. Good to be with you. Thank you. My pleasure. When you look at what's happening with the Secret Service right now, these hearings that are going on, is this, in your opinion, simply just endemic of an administration that doesn't seem to be able to focus or doesn't seem to be able to actually do the best thing possible for the American people? Well, I think that... Uh it is not only the Secret Service, but it is the entire government. As you say, it doesn't matter if it's the CDC or the Secret Service, if it's the IRS or the EPA. What we are seeing is such a degradation in the trust of our institutional organizations. It goes much deeper than just an occurrence. What it is is systemic. These occurrences, such as the actions of Lois Lerner with the IRS or the intruder and bringing forward the Secret Service problems, that is the tipping point which pushes all of this over, over the edge. And I have to tell you, I think what many of my constituents are asking when I'm talking to them, they wonder if government has the ability to police itself or if society has become so politically correct that there is no longer a standard by which they say we have to objectively make these assessments and make these calls. Are we so afraid of offending someone that we cannot protect ourselves? And, you know, as I've been out and about in my district for the past couple of days, those are the things that people are saying to me. You bring up an excellent point about political correctness, something that I have talked about and we've talked about so often. It seems as if here in this country we don't want to call it a war. We want to call it a conflict. We don't want to call them terrorists. We want to call it a workplace shooting. How do we then get away from this? What is it that America needs to hear or what needs to be done to get Americans as a whole to understand facts are facts, truth is truth, and if somebody's coming after us, they're not looking to wound us, they're looking to kill us at the end of the day. Well, yeah, and and I had a constituent yesterday that um, stopped me and said basically that same thing. And her point was she is tired of actions being renamed. And she wanted people to be held accountable and had watched part of the hearing yesterday morning and was completely disgusted and brought up a great point. She said, you know, it's not – nobody ever says I – have to be held accountable for this. They'll say, oh, I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. And then they go back to their life, and nobody is held accountable, and nobody pays a price. In the private sector, that doesn't happen. But it happens in government, because government has become so bureaucratic that it's there to protect itself. Are and we at a, are, people are so... It's like the thing with the FCC now saying they may look at banning the word red skin. Let me ask you about a minute left. We'll take a break. We've got to come back and talk a whole lot more here. But when we talk about something like this, and you mentioned not being able to face the facts, it would seem as if the space under the president's bus right now has got to be pretty crowded after he throws members of his own intelligence committee under the bus in the 60 Minutes interview on Sunday. Is America simply, and many Americans just taking their cue from the president, saying, well, if the man in charge can do it, I guess it's all right, and we can just go ahead and slough off blame as often as possible? Well, and I think that's part of it. Leadership starts and the example has to be set. And I think that not only with the president, but also with some elected leaders, never taking responsibility and trying to spin uh, actions and occurrences does not serve us well. There are to be accountabilities that are held. And I, I think that that's an important part of it. Someone took the action, yes, mistakes were made, uh, they've asked for forgiveness, they have repented, but they have paid a price. 
We're going to take what people want to see. I, I agree completely. Please stand by, Congressman. We're going to take a break. We will return with Tennessee Representative Marsha Blackburn to talk about the DEA intimidating members of Congress. You may not have heard about this, but it is happening right now. And also, we need to talk to the Congressman about what is happening in Dallas, Texas. Because Ebola is in America, and certainly it seems as if a number of things were not done in order to stop a potential spread. We're coming back with that and more right here on Midpoint.